May 16th to the 25th. Would you welcome Daryl Savad? Daryl. So uh, now you guys know what Webster's going to look like when he grows up. now about 33 34 years old i think he's too old for that show really i think that's such a strange name too webster you know it's like black names are always bizarre not like other names you find black names sound more like products you'd find in the drugstore like pharmaceutical families you know come on in meet the family my name is advil <laughs> my wife Clorette over here uh, tylenol you want to turn the tv down you're giving me a headache my oldest daughter banaka and the twins, Mirene and Visine. Thank you. I don't know. I named my son Oxy Five. I had to. But I got kids. I'm not a typical kind of dad, though. My kids have a bad habit. They stay up on the weekends and they watch movies about monsters and maniacs and demons. Then they come in my bedroom and ask if they can sleep with me. Like a monster's gonna come in the bedroom, kick the door down, I'm gonna stay and protect him. I'd be gone. I would, I see it this way. I'm a fairly young man. I can always have more kids. I'm out of there. I don't know, I tell them not to watch these movies, you know. I went away recently, I don't watch those kind of movies. I love TV game shows, that's my thing. I went away to Africa, I went to Jamaica, there were no TV game shows. You know, and it makes sense, a starving country, you wouldn't expect to see some guy coming on TV going, hello Africa, and welcome to the 25 cent rectangle. Well, last week on our show, Mr. Hobney Bugabe won a stick. Yes. Stick by Broy Hill. I don't know. Americans are so strange. We spend thousands and thousands of dollars going to other countries to visit ruins. You know, the ghettos of Italy, the pyramids, the Stonehenge, ruins. Foreigners don't come over here and go, excuse me, but uh, which way is Cleveland? <laughs> now, Ruby, can you get a picture of me in front of this low-income housing project? <laughs> Cleveland didn't like that, okay. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I can say my relationship's working out. My wife's great. She's great. It's working out because I'm sensitive. I think all men should be sensitive. Yeah, yeah. Learn to cry. Crying is the key. I think all men should cry. I do it once a month just to get even with her. I do, she, she comes home. I'm in the kitchen. My arms folded. I cry and I listen to Barry Manilow records. When she walks up and asks me what's wrong, I look at her and go, nothing. <laughs> You're a woman and you wouldn't understand. <laughs> but I'll try, I'll try and tell you, I'll try and be sensitive. <sighs> it was a fourth down, the Raiders had the ball. Recently got back from Michigan, I had a chance to visit my uncle. My uncle's getting fat and lazy now. He's 80 years old, he's at that point of his life where he just sits in front of the TV with a remote control in his hand. He's looking at my aunt going, Bertha, Bertha, come in and push the button. His waistline is taking over his whole body. His waistline's right here now. I'm sure next time I see him, he'll be a pair of pants walking around the house. <laughs> Got to pull his zipper down to watch the news on TV. Man. <laughs> My aunt buys his underwear, of course, and that's great, you know, because women know the secret. They know a guy would just never get new underwear, especially single guys. Single guy wears his underwear forever. <laughs> Holes in them, the elastic's worn out. I had a pair at home that was just the elastic band. <laughs> I went jogging in the park, pull it up on my head like a sweatband. <laughs> oh. 
So I just got back from Vegas. I had a chance to open for a couple of blues singers there, and that was great. I don't like the blues because it's depressing music. That's why you never hear blues Christmas carols. Can you imagine that? Some guy in front of your TV, like on your TV, going, I like to do a, a Christmas song for you. It's a song of love, a song of joy, a song of happiness. I call it, My Woman is Dead. I woke up Christmas morning. My woman was dead. Reindeer came down the chimney and stepped on her head. My favorite blues singer was Otis Redding. The guy was brilliant. He wrote songs about absolutely nothing, and he still turned out gold records. <laughs> Doc of the Bay's biggest song is a song about nothing, just sitting in the morning sun. I be sitting when the evening comes, watching the ships roll in. Then I watch them roll away again. a busy day to me. He could have stayed at home and wrote that, you know? <laughs> Sitting at home in a chair. <laughs> then I get up and I walk over there. <laughs> then I come back and sit down. And I turn my head and I look around. <laughs> You've been great.